Hey guys, I'm G from Gacha Visual and today I'm gonna be talking about this small device for live streaming events. So this is an HDMI wireless encoder from DD Mall, and with this you're gonna be able to live stream up to 1080p without the need of a computer. Uh, you can use your phone just to connect it uh, to set all the parameters, all the presets, configurations and everything you can do it straight from your phone and you can connect it through Wi-Fi or even through hotspot of your phone. It will also input audio. Uh, it can be transferred through the HDMI if your, if your camera is capable of. If not, it has a line in input where you can plug in mic in or line in. So that means you can plug in a microphone straight into it. If not, if you're gonna be doing wireless lab mics as I do, and you're gonna plug it into your camera then you're gonna be able to transfer that headset outline straight into the camera so you can have audio signal in my case i use black magic so they do transfer audio through the hdmi but if not that's something great to have so in all things considered this is a great device uh, a great setup for elopements and that's what i personally use it for the only thing to consider is that you're gonna need a good Wi-Fi or a good network on your phone to transfer the data. You are able to select the data rates uh, of the transfer. I usually use three megabytes per second, two megabytes per second. That's gonna depend. Since it's a ceremony, there's not gonna be much movement, so it does not lose much signal and but if you're gonna be doing a lot of movement, maybe you're gonna need a faster connection and a higher data rate for that. So I'm gonna show you how I personally use this setup for live streaming. Uh, what you're gonna need is this small encoder, a USB battery pack, and your camera, and that's it. You're good to go. So let's talk about what's included in the box. Besides the manuals, you're gonna get a full HDMI female to Full HDMI mail in case you need an extension. Like in my case, when I use the power cable, I do need an extension because this does not fit in. So this works great. But if also you're gonna get a full HDMI female to mini HDMI mail in case that's what your camera needs. You're getting a full HDMI female to USB C uh, for computer use. And you're getting the micro USB to USB as a power cable. You'll also get two pairs of Velcro stickies in case you want to Velcro your dongle right next to your camera so it's not just hanging around there. Something good to have. Now I want to show you how long this takes me in real time to start a live stream in, a, in an event. So I'm gonna show you my setup first. So. I shoot weddings with the Blackmagic cameras, I use 4K and 6K. For weddings I usually use 3 cameras, maybe 4 depending on the event, where it's at, how many people is going to be there and so. For elements I just use 2 cameras, one I use in handheld that I'm going to be moving around and I use another stationary camera on a tripod and that's going to be my audio camera, my live stream camera and my safety camera. So I use it with a B-mount battery from car and I love this one in particular because it has two D-tabs and two USBs. So in this case it's going to be great to, uh, to power the dongle. And I plug it straight into the camera and that should be good to go for a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to access my phone and I'm going to start the hotspot connection. All right, go, personal hotspot. All right, it's good to go. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna plug in the power cable to the uh, encoder. And you should do this first because some cameras, uh, like this one in particular, through HDMI they, they do send power, but it's not enough. So you should power it straight to the to a battery pack. Now it should automatically connect because I have everything preset it. So you're gonna see this red light should turn green when it's connected to the Wi-Fi connection. 
there, there that screen it means it's connected already to the phone and now what we need to do is we just plug it in straight to the camera plug it in plug it into the HDMI port we'll turn the camera on uh, that should be it and you just hit the set button and it's gonna start live streaming you're gonna see the green led light blinking that means it's live streaming and actually I want to open the YouTube here so you can see okay that's waiting for me to start the live stream so I just click here and it should start live streaming. You see the green light blinking there? It means it's it started live stream. I've counted, it has like a 30 second delay for it to to transfer the data for the, the live stream. But since it's not major, major broadcast, there's not big deal with it. Let's see how long it takes. And yeah, it's that simple. Uh, as long as there, it should start live soon. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, oh, well, now you can have to wait 30 seconds to see that. And to start stop the live stream, you click again, and you're gonna see it stops blinking, and that's it. It means it stopped. Your camera should have a clean feed out because if not, all the data from the camera, like uh, aperture and all that's gonna show in the screen for the viewers. As long as you have a clean feed, it should be good to go. One tip I wanna tell you is that if you're planning to set everything up in place with a hotspot on your phone, you should have an extra device because since you need to use Wi-Fi to connect to the dongle so you can set all the configurations, uh, your hotspot is gonna turn off while you do that. So while you're setting everything up and you try to select the, the Wi-Fi connection, your hotspot's not gonna show up because it turned off when you connected through Wi-Fi to the dongle. So for that, you're gonna need an extra device so you can use that one to set all the configurations and having your other phone with a hotspot connection all of the time so you can find it while connecting it. But I prefer doing everything beforehand in my computer at home and testing it out that it works and everything. And so if you have everything preset, it's as fast as I show you. You just plug it in and you're good to click and start the live stream. It's that fast and simple. So one other thing I want to show you is how I work my audio. So what I use is uh, lavalier mics, wireless lavalier mics that I plug straight into the camera. So one good thing about the Black Magics is that you have two audio inputs. One is the mini XLR and the other one is the 3.5 millimeter jack. And I just take this right here so that's it that's my audio setup now i have wireless audio i mic the groom and i mic the efficient and that you sh should be good to pick up both the bright and groom and the efficient if there's going to be a soundbar in place what i'm going to do is gonna, i'm going to mic the groom and i'm going to mic the other to the soundboard so i get the audio straight from the soundboard straight to the camera and what I do is I split the channels, I send one mic to the left side and another mic to the right side. So that way I get both audios without mixing them up and I can clean them up later. And I still mic the efficient but I, I use another setup because this one has only two inputs and I, I could mic the efficient and send it to another camera or use a wire recorder. So now what I want to do is I want to show you how to set all the configurations on the device itself. It's really simple. I'm not going to talk about how to set up a YouTube live stream and I'm assuming you already know that. If not, I'm going to add the links in the description so you can check them out uh, and do it by yourself. 
Uh, so what you do first is you're gonna hold set button for three seconds. It's gonna turn to yellow light and now you should go to Wi-Fi. You're gonna search the device. It's HEB2KW. You're gonna wait for it to connect and you're gonna open this IP number. You have it in the back of the device. You have it in manual, but in my case, I already have it in in favorites, so I'm gonna go straight to that live stream encoder. You're gonna open the login in the user login. It's admin admin, so it's really simple. I have it saved already. And now you have here you have all the setups. So you go first to audio, you can select the bit rates, you can select like the input as we talk about, it could be HDMI or analog, which means in the mic in uh, the bit rate. It comes by default to 128, but I think it's too much. I think 96 is, is fine. Then, then you go to video and you can select the, all the inputs. Uh, you can select the encoding type can be H.264, H.265. That's nice. Uh, frame rate, keyframe interval. It comes in by default to 30, I think, but you gotta change it to 60. That's what recommended. I think it's in the user manual that I'm gonna link in the description. You're gonna see all the setups. In bitrate, as you see, I have it in three megabit per seconds, and I use a 720 resolution for what I do and what I offer. 720 is more than enough. And also, I since it's gonna be through hotspot and there's not gonna be Wi-Fi. I'm trying to save as more data rate as I can so it doesn't lose connection. And you're gonna need to change the bitrate to CVR if you're gonna do YouTube live streams. Network, you open this up, you're gonna select the Wi Fi. In this case, as I told you, since I'm using my phone, it's not gonna pop up my hotspot in there. So you're going to need to use another device. In this case, I have already done it beforehand in the computer. So that's why it's already preset up. So RTMP is for the YouTube live stream and you can start it and stop it straight from here. But I think it's simple using the device itself. So I don't have to connect my phone to the device and then hotspot and all that. I think it's easier if I just do it straight from there. Mix stream, this is if you want to do a local connection or you want to do a multicast. Uh, I don't personally use this, but... And system, here is where you're going to do, where you're going to have your serial number, device name, that you can change it up if you want, and the firmware version. And that's it, that's, that's how simple it is. Everything I use, my equipment, what you saw here is going to be linked in the description for you to check out. The batteries I use, the cameras, tripod, everything. Um, so feel free to check it out and let me know if you get any questions.